everyone, welcome back. Today I have a tutorial on this look. You've seen this so many times on my Instagram. I've worn it to lunch with friends, I've worn it to dinner, I've worn it to beauty events, I've even worn it to a wedding with a few additions. So I'm gonna show you the sort of daytime version and then with a few steps how you can amp it up for evening. It is so ridiculously easy. I love this look and I hope you do too. Alrighty, we are going to start with eye primer. If you struggle with your eye makeup smudging, I have made a video all about that, so I will link it on the screen. Onto under eye concealer, which I'm also using to highlight that area under the eyes. I'm currently revisiting the Clarins Instant Concealer. I don't know how I feel about it, you guys. It's kind of prone to creasing, sometimes it looks a bit dry, I'm just not that impressed. I often let my concealer set a little bit before I blend. I find that you get a better coverage that way. So while I'm waiting, why not throw on a bit of foundation? I am perpetually running late, so I feel like this is an honest depiction of my makeup application. It's total chaos. So now the concealer has had plenty of time to set. So I'm gonna blend that using some more padding motions. I'm wiping off some excess here because I got a bit concealer happy there. Whoops. Time to set, and this is my all-time favorite powder. It's kind of life-changing, just throwing that out there, especially if you have dry skin like me. So we're hitting the T-zone and under the eyes. You know the drill. Straight onto the eyes, and there is very little eyeshadow going on with this look. It's more about the eyeliner, so let's start there. I'm taking a pencil and roughly lining the outer half of the lash line. Then make sure you relax your eyes, and extend that line upwards a little bit. I know that right now it looks like a random blob, but then you can take a precise brush and smudge it into a wing. I have a whole video on this easiest wing liner technique. I will link it on the screen and in the description box if you want a more in-depth explanation. But I love this method because it creates a softer wing with sort of hazy edges, which I find is really forgiving on mistakes. Your wings don't even have to be even. I'm dead serious. Mine weren't perfectly even on the day, but you can't tell. The only eyeshadow we'll be using today is a contour shade. So you can use a medium brown or a medium gray, whatever you're feeling. So focusing that shading on the outer corner of the eye. I'm sort of swishing the brush towards the temples. And this is a cool placement. It doesn't look like eyeshadow, but it just gives this illusion of a lifted eye. It's some sort of magic. So if I'm wearing this look more casually, more daytime-esque, I will just pile on the mascara, both the top and the bottom lashes go crazy with it, and I'll give falsies a skip. But for my brows, day or night, my brows always involve three steps. A pencil first, just to beef up the shape, a brow pen to add a bit of texture here and there and also elongate my sad, sad tails and some sort of brow gel to hold all the hairs into place. For lips, I'm always a fan of the My Lip But Better because it wears away nicely so you don't have to be concerned throughout the day like, what is my lipstick doing? So we're starting with MAC Boldly Bare to line the lips and fill in entirely. Topping with Charlotte Tilbury Bitch Perfect. Obnoxious name, incredible color. It is the perfect warm pink. It rocks my world. I find this formula also works really well on the cheeks. So while I'm here, just scribble some color on the back of my hand and apply with a synthetic brush, like you would with a cream blush formula. Throw the hair into a fun bun of sorts and voila, daytime look complete in about uh, 10, 15 minutes. To intensify the look a bit for evening, you can tight line the upper lash line just so that your eyeliner looks really black and inky. You can also add some definition to the lower lash line if you like. This is a gorgeous shimmery eyeliner, which I'm just smudging with a finger because I'm lazy like that. For evening, I think false lashes, such an easy way to add some drama. Love half strips because they're just so darn easy to apply. And if you get it right on the first go, you have to do a cheesy dance. Hey, I don't, I don't make the rules. You know, a bit of sculpting never hurt anybody. This is sort of a bronzer placement and it's sort of a contour placement. It's somewhere in between. I call it the bronzer. 
P.S. This Burberry pen has become a go-to product. It's very slippy in texture. It's quite silicone heavy, so it blends in like 10 seconds flat. You don't even have to try. Highlight, always a good idea. This stick is by NARS, so pretty, but I think it's limited edition, which kind of drives me up the wall, limited edition stuff. Aussies, this might still be available in Mecca Cosmetica. No promises, but you can check. For hair, I think this is so amusing. You can practically see the conversation that I'm having with myself. Like, can I rock this natural texture? On some days I totally can, and you know, I'm having a great hair day. Today, too fluffy. So I straightened it, much better. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I know that we're not exactly reinventing the wheel here, but it's really flattering and it's really easy. If you did enjoy this video, then hey, you should subscribe. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will speak to you all very soon. Bye-bye. I feel like even I've taken this probably a bit far. I think you've taken it so much further than far <laughs> that you might not be able to come back from this. I'm worried about the nose, to be honest. I'm pretty worried. I about don't the nose. know how, how to do the nose. Let's let's use one of the sticks, the slippy sticks. They're really good for the nose. <laughs>